Hey guys, today I'm playing Minecraft Story Mode. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it is a Telltale Games game uh, that is takes place in the world of Minecraft, but has a story that goes, you know, that you follow along with, and you get to make choices and things like that. If you've never seen um, any of the other Telltale Games, that's basically what it is. It's it's all about the choices that you make. I've played The Walking Dead Season 1 and Season 2, and um, also their game The Wolf Among Us, and I have another, actually I have two of their other games that I haven't played yet, but um, yeah, I thought that I would give this one a try since it's new and it's Minecraft meets Telltale Games, and I like both of those things. So here we go. I should have everything all set up already. I've changed some of the settings a little bit. Yeah, and I haven't seen anyone else play it, so, um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Alright, so first of all, we get to choose our appearance. This is the main character, I believe his or her name is Jesse, I want to say. Um, so which one do I want? Let's see. Um, I don't want to be a guy, even though being a guy would be cool. And, um... Since I am not going to be a guy, then we're not going to get to hear Patton Oswalt uh, voice the character, but sorry, Patton Oswalt, I'm going to be a girl. Um, the only thing is, I don't know which one. I can't decide between these two, because she has brown eyes and so do I, so I kind of want to go with her, but she's very pale and so am I, so I don't know. Um, I think I'll go with this one, though, because I like the shirt. Yeah. That teal color is very pretty. So we'll go with that. That's going to be my character. Okay. Episode 1, The Order of the Stone. Here we go. Let's get started. What's going to happen? Yeah, there you go. The story is tailored by how you play, adapts to the choices Nothing you make. Nothing built can last forever. And every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. Okay. With each passing year, more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes. And ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants <laughs> would tremble. Okay, so Eligard, the warrior. the redstone engineer, redstone. whose machines would spark an era of invention. Nice. Magnus the rogue. Who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. So a griefer. And Soren, <laughs> the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous <laughs> to journey the end. to fight a mysterious <laughs> creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious, Yay! and the dragon was <laughs> defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. Okay, that guy kind of looks like Lee from uh, <laughs> The Walking Dead. But when one Something story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies? Or ten zombie-sized chickens. Um, Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. Zombie I'd have chickens. to go with the giant chickens. Not because I want to, or because I think it would be easy, but because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said, an abomination. <laughs> so, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof, mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us? Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? What's wrong with that? 
He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Urban's my best friend. I thought Aww. I was your best friend. Well, both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. Aww. I'm getting tired of it. Mm. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. We are not losers, Olivia. We lose all the time. It's okay. what we do. Okay. That might be true. I can't remember the last time we won anything. But if that's the case, it means we win <laughs> at being losers. Um, <laughs> all right. No. <laughs> Do you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! Ah! <laughs> oh, man. You guys totally freaked out. That was awful. Uh... Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. That's what you get, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it? You scared us half to death. Nothing is fun if you're not scared half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You Aww. brought Ruben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. Aww. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> he looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. Aww. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. He's so if cute. he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. <laughs> Why wouldn't I let him wear that? <laughs> he looks adorable! Oh my gosh. Okay. Banner. Sure, let's look at that. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, Hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. <laughs> All right. I, I got the stand as a gift, but I don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Just shears. Definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Gabriel the warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Probably. <laughs> Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. All right. Uh, what's in here? Uh, flint and steel, not too shabby. I like that they only keep like one thing in each of their chests. It's like, no, you would you would have more stuff than that. Um. Okay. Well. Let's talk to Reuben. Give me a dragon war, Reuben. <laughs> That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. All right, let's go through the trap door. <laughs> He's so cute in that costume. I can't. I can't. It's adorable. That's everything. Oh my gosh. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. <laughs> also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than <gasps> Gabriel the what? Warrior and Freak himself. Whoa. What's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. What? It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But okay. if we win, um, oh man, yeah. this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. <laughs> It'd be amazing to meet him. Reuben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. Oh, I like how they capitalized end there in the so subtitles. <laughs> does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, my, uh, source, uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben oh, with us. No. Stop! We basically have no chance. God. Faith, Olivia. What? A little slice. 
a sliver, a portion, just a little faith. That's all we need. Also, I'm hungry. To win, to win. No, no, I'm with that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. You have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than Creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. Then again, uh, you scared the crap out of us with a Creeper today. <laughs> Let's go with Enderman. Let's build an Enderman. Uh, Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was saying awesome. Yeah. No. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. Nope. Preparing is daring. Nope. That's the same thing. Forget it. Team on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Team! Prepare. Yay. Prepare. <laughs> okay. Um. What are we doing? Are we chopping trees? Oh, we're chopping trees! Yeah! This is like an epic 80s montage. <laughs> Wait, oh, oops, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize I was gonna be using the keyboard. I should have known. Oh my gosh, I like that sand, girl. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, E. Of course it's E. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Sheep. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Are they all stuck like that? We know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Hey. Mm. Oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. <laughs> if it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> great. <laughs> The fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team uh... name? We are not ready for this. <laughs> so much for losing anonymously. We're the order of the pig. <laughs> really? Is it meant hey. to tie us to Reuben, or are you making fun of me? Okay, Order of the Pig. You guys are in booth five. <laughs> Obviously, I don't oh. do well with choosing quickly. <laughs> All right, so is Reuben supposed to be like our fifth, a fifth, fourth member is what I was trying to say. Um, I don't want to look at the sign though. Okay, chest. Sure, why not? Hmm. Nope. All right. Um. Sure. I don't care about these other people. Is that want to get to my booth. Beacon? They have a freaking beacon. What? Freaking beacon. A freaking beacon, Stained really? Glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. No. 
We're gonna lose. Uh, our design is way cooler. A gigantic Enderman is better than a fancy light. Their difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. But we've got something they don't. Fireworks. <laughs> we should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the order of the losers again. <laughs> good one, Gil. Yeah, I really We're good just one. looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. <laughs> hey. I'm talking about your pig. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. <laughs> hey, Jesse. Guys, whatever. Hey, Petra. How's the build going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. All if you right. need anything, you know where to find me. Mm. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. And if you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are? May the best team win. Careful what you wish for. We'll see about that. Ladies and I'm trying gentlemen, to not be welcome too mean. to the Endercon Building Competition. <laughs> The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Yay! Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. Do we need a handshake? <clears throat> we'll just make one up. Oh, boy. We'll call it the, uh... The Builder Bump. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> and just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk no about it. No one will remember We can do this. <laughs> just stick to the plan, and everything will be fine. This year, the Order of the Pig can't lose. All right. Aww. Let's do it. Building starts now. Yay, let's build. 